So I've been traveling all night. I was in the bus station overnight. And I just want to come on here and talk about when we see people needing emergency help and public or some kind of assistance, let's do what we have to do to help one another as fellow human beings. I was sitting in the bus station uh, early this morning or last night, however you would call it, middle of the morning. And a guy that I was on one of the buses with, we were transferring to another bus and he happened to be sitting behind me. And all of a sudden I heard some people yell out, he's having a seizure, call 911. And then in unison, other people started saying, he's having a seizure, call 911. Everybody's saying the same thing. And I thought to myself, it's probably 200 people in here. And we all have cell phones. As I reach out for my phone to call 911, a security guard finally shows up in front of the guy and is calling the medics. This is my worst nightmare for myself because I am one that have, I had some health issues at one point and I have passed out in public a few times. Luckily, I have been with my children who was able to call the medic. But I want to say, when the guy was having the seizure and other people are looking, 200 people at least, I know we, I don't know, I'm not going to say nosy, but we want to be alerted to why we're going to call 911 or a medic or some emergency professional and people just start to stare. But we need to stop panicking and stop being lookers, onlookers, and need to be people that help in a fast pace. Because I really believe had he had some other issue, it might have been too late. I think we all know that a seizure usually plays itself out. It may not be an emergency situation. So fortunately for him, he was able to go through his seizure. And by the time the paramedics got there, he was alert and they took him off and he seemed fine. But when people are yelling out, call 911, call 911. In a bus station, I'm looking around to see who are you talking to to call 911. The other passengers, are we looking toward a security guard for a security guard? We know a medic is not in the bus station. We know a nurse is not in the bus station unless there is a professional or a nurse or a doctor that happened to be in the bus station. But who are we talking to exactly? But each other when we all have cell phones. So that's a very scary situation. And it got me to thinking about a video that I did a few months back ago on how to identify emergency situations with people like heart attacks, strokes, things like that, and what to do. And I must say, even I was clueless. I have an uncle who has seizures back in another state. We live apart. But I also wouldn't know what to do if someone had a seizure. But finally, someone yelled out in the bus station, place him on his side. Lay him down, place him on his side. And there was a woman who was sitting next to him who pulled this big man, he was a bigger guy than she is, and started pulling him down toward the floor. Now, out of 200 people, we at least have maybe 100 men in there. And she was the only one trying to get this man down to the floor while everyone is yelling out, 
call 911. Even the guy that suggested that he be laid on his side was actually just standing there, but the lady stayed there next to him, rubbing him and holding him all the way until he came back into consciousness. And so I want us to just really consider and rethink how we respond to emergency situations. I always hear on TV, we see on TV, like in 9-11 and in different things, we, we hear about these heroes helping to save lives and helping people. But sometimes in our own real lives, where is our hero? Like I said, I have passed out a few times in public and I have woken to people just standing around me. So let's reach out and help people. Let's prepare ourselves ahead of time, especially as travelers. When we're out traveling, we're going to see a lot of different things out and about. We're going to stumble upon many different life situations. So let's be prepared and know ahead of time of signs of strokes and different things like that and how we can help people and what to do for a person that's having a seizure. I love you guys. I'll see you on an upcoming video. Hopefully it won't be a rant because on my travels, this last 25 days, I've this is already my second rant about something that I have seen out there, and it just breaks my heart. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber, okay? Because we enjoy our lives around here and we live creatively, and you don't want to miss the fun. Goodbye.